So I'm gonna be doing a hair review slash straightening my hair on camera because one it needs to be straightened and I just thought why not just do them at the same time. I want to tell you guys more about the hair I've been wearing um, and really go into depth on how I feel about it more so than I would in like a beauty tutorial where I just kind of tell you where it's from and tell you the links are down below. And yeah, uh, there's not really much to say. We're just going to jump right in. This is a wig that I made. The company that I got the hair from is called Nadula, I believe. I feel like I'm always saying stuff wrong, so maybe that's not exactly how it's pronounced. But of course, all links to everything that I talk about in this video will be down below. But this is a wig unit that I made. I'm going to link the videos where I learned how to make a wig with a frontal down below. I want to record myself making one, but guys, I'm still in like the training process you know what i'm saying like i haven't nailed it yet i actually put a hole in this frontal c like i don't want to teach you guys the wrong way so just i'm going to do one just in due time um but this is what i use to lay my wig down on my head like stick it down so it doesn't move this is called got to be glued blasting free spray okay so i was using the got to be glued like the spiking glue or whatever this is everyone was talking about it but for me i feel like this guy works a lot better. I got both of these off of Amazon. I will leave links below. But I feel like this works better because one, it doesn't leave a terrible like white cast as far. Like this one on me, I don't know. I've tried applying with my fingers without my fingers. I saw Tierra Monet, I think that's her name. She was talking about how if you use your fingers with it and it mixes with the oils of the term white. So I tried it without and it still turned white. So I'm not really sure, but I like this one more sometimes I mix them together if I need like a solid hold but yeah I feel like these work really well this one just works better it just doesn't give me that like white cast around my edges where I actually lay the wig down I have four bundles of hair and this is the Brazilian straight hair I'm gonna start straightening my hair now um, sorry that I'm not looking at the camera but my monitor is gonna keep me from burning my face off so I'm just gonna be looking in that making sure I don't take any skin off of my face um, I am going to be using the Garnier Fruitique style flat iron perfector straightening mist argan oil 48 hours straight finish heat protecting is that a long name or what I just spray it all over the side I'm about to do and this isn't gonna be like a serious straighten this is gonna be putting some heat on my hair so it don't look so wild but yeah, I have four bundles of Brazilian straight in, and I really, really like the hair. I've been, if you guys know me, I've been searching for a hair company that provides good hair that's not super expensive because I know a lot of hair companies that have like really great hair, but they're like really expensive, like just what I feel is just like not reasonable for the common person. So I don't want to get on here rocking like some $400 bundles that look bomb as fuck but no one can ever work because I can't even afford no damn $400 bundle so I like to find affordable hair companies that have like really good hair good quality hair so I can share it with you guys because I don't know I mean you pay, you get what you pay for in a sense but I just like to find someone that's just like you know just like a, a, a hidden gem because there are hidden gems out there and I feel like this company really is a hidden gem. At least this texture that I have, the Brazilian Straight, is so, so nice. Keep in mind, I bleached all my bundles, like pretty much up to the top of the bundle. I was trying to dye my hair a certain color and I just did the process wrong. So that didn't really work out, but I figured out my error. Like I figured out where I messed up, so I'm going to try it again. Um, but I did bleach all these bundles and once I shampooed them and conditioned them, they it were just like, I don't know. I've bleached hair before and barely been able to get my fingers through it. So this was like, I was highly impressed. Um, I've had this unit for three weeks, two or three weeks now. I guess I've been wearing it a lot because I like to get a really good feel for hair before I recommend it and I've had hair companies send me hair and I've tried it and I'm just not fond about it. like I'm I don't know I say this a lot but there are a lot of shitty hair companies out there let's just keep it real there are a lot of hair companies that 
have hair bundles that last for like two weeks. You can't wash the shit. It'll be matting up and just looking a mess. And I just choose not to promote those kind of companies. And whatever that means for me and those companies, that means. But I'm not going to get on here and tell you guys to spend your hard-earned money on shitty hair. So that's that. But this hair is really, really, really nice. I've washed it maybe like twice now. Yeah, it's probably time to wash it again. I know some people are like, like they don't really wash their extensions often, but I don't know. I just can't go that long without washing extensions, especially because I actually have to put product in them. For this, like with this stuff, when you lay it, it does get on the frontal, like it gets on the actual frontal. So for me, I have to like, lately I've been taking a toothbrush with shampoo and just kind of like cleaning the frontal, you know what I'm saying? And like trying to keep the build up off of it because it could get built it could get a little gross looking if you don't clean your frontal especially with the wig i'm not really sure how frontal sew-ins go because i've never had a frontal sew-in i want one but i haven't had one so i don't really know i'll get back to you guys on that but as far as like having a frontal wig and laying that wig to your head like with some kind of hairspray or glue or whatever i think that's how you should clean it I don't, i'm not a professional or anything but yeah, I'm going to be trying another text. Like, guys, are we are we seeing this? It's so nice. And it really is affordable. I know people are always like, oh, it's affordable and it's still $300. It's not $300. I think you can get three bundles for like $168. Bucks, somewhere around there. That's I think that's hella good. Because some places, one bundle is like $160. Bucks. So um, I'll leave links exactly to what I have, including the frontal I have down below. So you can just directly click and go to that if you're interested but I just yeah I'm gonna be trying another texture and I think I'm gonna do an unboxing for that texture so you guys can see the hair that before it's even touched because it is a curly texture so I don't know if you guys are interested I'm not sure if that's something you guys are interested in or what like unboxings or you know how you like to see hair but yeah, I love it. About frontals, let me just give you guys my little, what, how I've been feeling about them and things like that. Um, I feel like it is something that you have to be good at. It's not like, like I can like lay a closure pretty well if I'm giving it like some serious effort. Honestly, I can. It's not that hard to lay a closure, but a frontal is totally different. I mean, a frontal is like technique driven. Like you gotta be, have some straight up skill or learn from somebody that has a skill to lay it. I still have not figured out how to like successfully lay a frontal, which is why you don't see me like styling my wigs with my hair half up, half down a lot. I've had some better days with this frontal. It's not the frontal, it's me, I'm being honest. I don't have that technique down. I'm trying to teach myself, which is why I keep practicing frontals. Like if I ever get hair from a company to make a wig, now I just request frontals so that I can get better at making wig units and laying them because I really want to learn how to like slay a frontal man even if it's just on my own head I'm not like really good at doing other people's hair what that was totally the wrong way <sighs> okay I'm not really good at doing other people's hair aside from coloring I mean I can make wigs for people but it's not like something I like love to do um I like to make wigs for myself honestly but yeah, I don't know. I really want to learn that skill set. I want to learn how to slay a frontal. That's my goal for 2017. One of them. It's minor, but I really want to learn how to like slay my own hair. I really want to be self sufficient in hair. That's the only thing that I'm like, when it comes to my appearance, that I'm like, oh, I really could use some help in that category. Well, no, I can't dress that well either. I dress more for comfort than cute, which I want to change that, but we'll see. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to learn. And as soon as I learn, I can't wait to show you guys. Because I'm not, like I said, I'm not a professional by any means. I'm not hairstylist. I never went to hair school. I don't have somebody that's super close to me that went to hair school. They can tell me stuff. Well, my sister is a hairstylist. But we don't talk about hair like that for real. So she hasn't been able to, like, tell me all her little secrets and things like that. Um, and, like, look, it's already straight. I mean, it's not like super straight like I could probably get it a lot straighter but I don't think that's bad for just running my flat iron over it what else haven't I told you guys about this hair I don't really put a lot of products on this hair honestly I just put on like heat protectant when I straighten it 
or curl it or anything like that. This hair does hold the curl really well. I'll curl it and then maybe like four days later the curls will really start to fall which I think that's really impressive. I've had hair that I've curled it and it failed the same day. It didn't look that bad but it didn't really hold the curl. This hair holds a curl very 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 well. So I'm um, trying to think if there's anything I would want to know about hair before I bought it. There is, I got, I had in a 24, a 20, look where it is on me. Check out my sweatpants. <laughs> but this is 24 inches and it's like to my, to my waistline pretty much. And I cut it some. So 24 inches on me is pretty much to my butt. I'm 5'5 five five with brown eyes. If you know what song that's from you're real but I'm 5'5 five five and 24 inch bundle from them and straight hair pretty much goes to my butt oh uh, I really like this hair I recommend it this is right now honestly truly my favorite hair right now it could change but as of right now I really 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 like the company um the customer service is a one I have not had a problem with and I've gone back and forth with this company talking about different things and I have not had one questionable conversation with them like everything's been really like genuine and clean and I really like that especially when it comes to hair companies because I know I sound like I'm throwing a lot of shade but I'm just being really honest I've had hair companies send me hair and it shed like it literally shed and I say hey you send me this hair it's shedding I don't know if I got a bad batch or what and they're like can you not mention that in the review and I'm just like no like what what and this hair has shed a little bit but honestly I think a lot of that comes from the hole that I put in the frontal <laughs> because the hole's growing which makes me really sad because I feel like I don't know what's gonna happen when the hole gets too big but I'm trying to hold on for dear life um, but I have this company has been really genuine really kind their shipping is quick AF which I also appreciate I don't want to wait for no hair for too long and yeah I think that's it guys I don't want you to ever think that when I talk about products that are sent to me or gifted to me um, that I'm not being honest I'm always gonna be honest sometimes I'm a little too honest which could offend some companies but it's the truth and I would rather keep it real with you guys cuz what like I don't know I don't know I've just never been one of those people that like lie for my reputation or like for money or like anything like I don't know that stuff's not that important to me my reputation and like relationship with you guys is more important so I don't want you to ever think I'm lying about any product that I have if it's not good I'll say this product is pretty shitty be honest with you guys uh but let me go get out of here find some business to get into <laughs>